finally she's out of the den. We did it, boys. I don't think you're ready for this because on the daylight, this looks way different. Check this out. Welcome back to the channel. So it's a pretty exciting day for the 300 and for us. I mean, if you think about it. By the way, do you guys see my shorts? Who else works on their cars on shorts like this? This just that alone deserves a big thumbs up. Please like the video. It helps out the channel so much. So right now, like the video real quick. <clears throat> All right. So today we're gonna be turning these headlights into these headlights right here. If you don't notice a difference at first, really look into the bottom part, the stripes and everything else. We're gonna make this look so hot, boy. So take a good look because we're gonna do this for a total of, wait for it, $10. It's gonna change and it's gonna look freaking mint, bro. Yes. And we're gonna do it at home DIY style. These, if you wanna go with the JDM Spectel lights, they go from 300 to $500. What we're gonna do today, at most $20. video this is the material that we're gonna be using to make this side clear so first thing you want to do definitely go ahead and start taking everything out of your hatch because you're gonna have to be working back there for the first part of the video I had to run to the store. I can't believe I forgot like the most important thing. Pinstripe, I got this from AutoZone. So, make sure you get this. This is what's gonna give it the little lines that makes it look so sick. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so I tried to go around it, but actually to be able to get this light out, you need to kind of loosen this up a little bit. All right, so before we keep going on forward with this project, we gotta remove a couple things. So take out all the bulbs this right here and this bulb right here and then there's one little screw right there unscrew that that's the only thing keeping the whole assembly together and these two you can leave it there and we'll be good one eternity later i'm gonna take a wild guess and just say that that's not gonna work <laughs> i think we're gonna easy oven now a hundred percent my whole family's gonna look at me weird right now A good little trick that I use when cutting acrylic, you're gonna grab, you're gonna need something very sharp. But look, check this out. So this is dry acrylic, cold, or just it's a regular temperature. When you cut it, it makes it really weird. Look how bad the cuts are, and it just goes everywhere. Look, and the cuts are not great at all. So what I recommend you guys do: heat gun, heat it up. Check this out. Perfect cut. So try that out because huge help. By the way, yes, day two. And I actually had to go to Walmart last night and get myself an actual heat gun because putting it in the oven took way too long and the hair dryer ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm not gonna lie, time has passed. I did not feel myself finishing the first one after I did the oven thing and I showed you guys real quick how to cut it. I did it myself and we did a pretty damn good job. All right, OEM. JDM. Bruh. That 
that looks so good and I'm not gonna lie there's a few imperfections like I accidentally stupid of me I left like a little dot inside of dirt so there's a spot of dirt very noticeable right there I did take my time but I guess I just overlooked it and but yeah don't make a silly mistake like that other than that the tail light looks freaking good. We still gotta polish everything. We're gonna do that at the end, but super happy with this. This cost me like literally $20. And it looks, to me, just as good as the JDM one. I mean, look at that. So now we're gonna put everything back together and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the second one after I open it up. I just can't stop looking at it because it looks so freaking good, man. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the hardest part out of this whole process getting this out make sure you take your time so you don't crack it to be 100% with you guys I barely used the oven. I basically just Used a heat gun and put a screwdriver and started like just Bending all the sides. I kind of ripped a couple of sides like right here. Actually, no, it was on the other side, but it's fine It's plastic you can just Melt it and put it back together. So that's that One side out. There we go. And one more. There we go. So thankfully, after that, next step would be do the cutout. Thankfully, I already did that because I actually messed up. When I did that headlight, I cut it out in the way where it will only fit this headlight. So I just did it again for that one and then I left it off. Basically, my opinion so you get at least one straight corner, start like on the edge, grab the heat gun, start heating up here. And then just start cutting, cutting, cutting. As it gets hard, do not keep going. Like, take your time. Then you start heating it up again, cutting, and then... It's not difficult. It's not that difficult. If you mess up once, make sure you buy enough material to do it twice, three times, ten times. Make sure the side with the bumps, it's facing out. So we put it right here. As you can see, this is a little too big. So we got to go ahead and trim it. And it basically just sits... Make it small enough where it just sits here with the... Um, silicone. It does not have to go in, but like just sit right here. Also, I was thinking some people do the top as well if that's something you want to take on, but I kind of like the look of the red and then the clear. But some people do the clear on top as well, and it actually looks pretty clean. Now we gotta go ahead clean the inside of this with Windex or whatever you can and then we gotta mask everything and do the lines correctly. The reason why I'm also using Goo Gone is cause sometimes as you can see there's like a silicone just stuck in the inside. I almost forgot but you are gonna need black nail polish. I'll show you guys why you need it but yeah make sure you have this or like a black sharpie or black marker. So this is the part where you're gonna need your nail polish. From prying on this with your flat head and trying to take it off. All those little marks right there are gonna be seen when you have the headlight on. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna start painting all this right here on the inside right there. Now we gotta do the lines, which surprisingly, it's my favorite part. I basically just grabbed half an inch tape right here from Ace Hardware, where we, where we wanna buy it. And I masked it right down the middle and then that was like a that's like a guideline so then you can put the small little lines on the outside part This side could get pretty tricky, so grab a knife like this and just like kind of cut it there, but make sure you're at the right length so it doesn't look kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so proud of myself. I actually pulled this off and all by myself. But definitely my second time around, I did better than my first time around. We pretty much finished. Now time to put everything back together, which is the easiest, most satisfying part.
finally she's out of the den. We did it, boys. I don't think you're ready for this because on the daylight, this looks way different. Check this out. Oh, check this out, bro. We're spending 500 bucks and we got it to make it look this good. Let's go. And we haven't even polished it yet. I can't do that though because I'm actually going to head to school right now, but... We did a damn good job, boys. Let me know. I'm thinking about getting the original because this is an original twin turbo and tur twin turbos come with a wing. Previous owner took it off, so I'm thinking about putting it back on, but let me know what you guys think of this because uh, I love it, bro. And yes, the third brake light up here, it's like literally all cracked, so I gotta get this one new. I'm probably gonna get it black or black it out myself, but yeah, it's cracked, so I'm definitely getting a new one. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Did it turn out as good as you thought? How are you guys gonna do it yourselves? I definitely recommend it. I hope this video really helped a lot of you how to do it. I try my best to show you during the process. One last look. It just looks so good. And with the wing, and with little by little. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that thumbs up, subscribe. We're building this amazing Twin Turbo 300ZX on the channel. So, and we do a lot of DIYs like this, so make sure you subscribe.